So, a while ago, way back when, Jazz made a video about alternative drawing programs to Photoshop, and the video was great. And though I didn't have my own drawing tablet at the time, I saved that video so when the time came, specifically last year, I would have a perfect combo to go with my tablet. Problem was, even in that video, Jazza claims Krita was the near-perfect drawing application. I noticed something about the intro. I have given myself three core rules when it comes to compiling the list of the programs that I would explore for you here today. And those were that the program must be completely free or under $20. It must not be a subscription based program. So that means Sketchbook is out because as you can see, it's subscription based. At that time, like he said, Sketchbook was a subscription based program and it still was until recently where they updated their website to say, Sketchbook goes free! Which was great, because I've been using Sketchbook for almost a year now, and I'd be happy to fill you guys in in what this program has to offer, using the same rating system that Jazza used. So, for anyone still getting into digital art like me, it's time for... As a little background, Sketchbook is a drawing software designed by Autodesk, also known for their 3D programs that I'm a little too scared to look at. It has a nice community that posts free brushes and is available on Mac, iPhone, or whatever computer you have, honestly. It's just an easy download when you go to their website. And just from the first criteria of price alone, I think we can all agree Sketchbook deserves a perfect 5-star rating. I can't exactly say why they decided to make their business model so cheap, but hey, no complaints from me. As far as user interface goes, I can't really go into detail. I have a small bamboo tablet, at this point worn down, but it works perfectly fine for this program. There's no lag that I can recall from personal experience, and the customization for windows, brushes, colors, and general placement is simple, but it's easily accessible for anyone just starting out. We have brushes, various tools on the lagoon and toolbar, and everything is easily understood from the options menu. And I'm a big old dummy, so I can assure you, I got used to the layout fairly easily. Speaking of easy, there's a convenient tab you can click on while on the brush window that gives you a big brush library where you can download a whole assortment of brush sets. Another fun fact, you can open Photoshop files as well as easily add layer effects, folders, etc. This is convenience heaven with lots of tools similar to Photoshop. As far as the learning curves go, like I said, I'm a dummy and I got used to it. Usually finding cool features like inverting colors, saturating and messing around with the image adjustments, it's so satisfying and it's all there. As far as enjoyment goes, it might be different for everyone, because, you know, it's a drawing program, right? I've never been so enthralled in an art-related activity since I was 12. I've spent hours on end combining colors, layers, seeing what weird effects I could add to my art. Little things like adjusting canvases, brush sizes, textures, I felt the limitless potential at my hands. And I know some of my art on my videos don't show it, but in my free time, I prefer making art with a pencil sketch at first, adding a layer, adding inks, colors, and just messing around. Inspired, I give the enjoyability factor a four and a half. That's just how strong I feel about this. And finally, we have reached an important aspect, which was the professional potential. This is where I bring up a lot of features I haven't even touched base upon. This is a perspective tool, and though I haven't used it much, if at all, in my drawings, it's crazy how helpful this could be for doing city landscapes. There's a whole assortment of tools like the ruler for straight lines, oval for perfect circles, and they even have an outline for weird tools you might have seen in art class. There's also a symmetry tool, this thing, and a weird smoothing tool. I could compare it a lot to the line in Adobe Flash. In terms of, sure, it makes a smoother line, but don't make it that smooth or else... Ugh. 
There's also shapes, color palettes from Copic, and plenty of airbrushes to customize, make your own. And this is where I sort of get into the criticisms of Sketchbook program. I'm not sponsored or anything, so I won't hold back, but there are little bugs in Sketchbook that you should be told before downloading. For starters, you have to be saving whenever you're getting a little bit of progress done because I've had the app crash on multiple occasions. It has crashed enough times for me to say it's a bit of a problem. Now I will be fair and say the autosave feature has saved my heart from shutting down. I always am able to recover my process, but nonetheless this is an issue. And with Sketchbook still getting updates to patch these errors, I'm sure it won't be a problem later on. As far as layers though, I sometimes want to move a folder or layer somewhere only for it to just be all moved down to the bottom, which is mildly inconvenient to say the least. I just want to address these issues because I know that someone might be a bit skeptical of this drawing program. But overall, I do recommend that you try it out. I give it a 4 out of 5 overall. Autodesk is definitely trying to give us the best product they can. And as a bias, I love them for the gift they have given me. Thanks to anyone watching this and thank you Jazza for inspiring me to do this.